I'm here after the game with Rusty. Uh, it is a loss here, first game of the season. It gets a very physical, not on the Forest side, but are you taking any positives from that? Uh, Tyler Diblin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think he showed a lot in pre-season. Every time he gets on the ball, he's just exciting. And, and there are teams out in the Premier League that have paid good money for a player like that. And, and we've got one just sat on the bench. <laughs> but um, in terms of the rest of the game, I never felt like we we couldn't get something. I felt like it'd be tough, yeah, yeah. but I didn't feel like we couldn't. There was always opportunity. Uh, ben Burton Diaz was a bit, I don't want to use the word lazy because that doesn't feel right, but he, he, he looked a bit lost today. I mean, it's Arnold, telling him to find his space occasionally, but. It was, this, yeah, it, yeah, but. I worry that he doesn't always, he didn't do a lot when he had that space. And I think that's the the biggest issue, I think. But uh, we, we, we've got enough on the bench to strengthen every time, I feel, with the right substitutions. Maybe they needed to be earlier today, I don't know. Absolutely. I mean, looking at the remainder of the transfer window, I mean, where's the priority at the moment? And what do you think will get done? I think controversially, I thought Alex McCarthy was very good today. Okay. Um, I wonder if Jack can hear us behind that. <laughs> <laughs> what Alex McCarthy does really, really well is he's an excellent shot stopper. Yeah. I think it's 2 3 0 maybe if, if it's not Macca. Um, with his feet poor. Yeah. We know this. But as a shot stopper, he's very good. The problem is systematically he doesn't work for Russell Martin. And that's the. That's the worry. So the goalkeeper, I think the Dutch fella, he's got. A, he's. I think that's for me the smart business. Yeah. And then after that, it's still it's still an out and out number nine. Yeah, definitely. I think there's still plenty to be done here. I mean, in the transfer window, there's still time to work with the squad. But the other thing, looking around here, I mean, what are you making of this fan zone here? You loving it? It's excellent. Honestly, it's excellent. Like Jack's got his own little fan fan base over here. But... Jack's getting a selfie whilst holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Um, th this fan zone is superb. Like, how many times have you left St Mary's at final whistle and it's empty within no, no. 10 minutes? No. And there's still like thousands, like, well, thousands, there's, like, there's a good number of people here and they're enjoying themselves. Nice. And, and for the club, from a business point of view, smart, real smart. And it looks good. It does look great, absolutely fantastic. Well, be sure to give Rusty a follow on TikTok um, and go and show some support. But Rusty. YouTube. Oh, YouTube as well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All over the socials. Rusty on YouTube, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. The vlog will be out. Not as quick as yours, I'm yeah. sure, but, but it'll be out. <laughs> Mate, all right. Cheers, Mike buddy. does it on the way home. I do, I do. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Who have we got here? How are you doing? Uh, Cohen. Hello, mate. How are you? And uh, what's your name? Billy. What did you make of today's game? Uh, Any positives? Dibbling. Dibbling did look good. Yes. Uh, Shigawara looked all right. Shigawara looked good. He looked great last week as well. Yes, he did. I don't know why he came off. No, yeah. no, 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 no. So what are your hopes for the next few fixtures? Do you think we can pick up a, a point or three at, at Brentford away next week? Possibly. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough bit at Brentford, but hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for joining and uh, lovely to see you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. All right, I'm here with Barry and Jasmine after a rather frustrating 1-0 loss. I mean, were there any were there the positives you can see from the Saints' performance today? I'll say a negative. OK. From 70 minutes, our strikers was on the wing. Yeah. They need to be in the box. Need Come a, on. We need a decent striker. Martin, throw it out. <laughs> we need a decent striker in the box because no, there's no one, there's no one there to like score the goals. So like they pass it in and then it goes like they just yeah. I mean we're a very physical side, not the Forest. I mean, and also, have a shot. Yeah. Shoot. Come on. So what are your general expectations for the rest of the season? What are we thinking? I think they stay up, but okay. like just about. I think yeah. Yeah, they'll be all right, I think. They'll survive. Brilliant. All right, thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you, mate. Nice to meet you, mate. Make sure that goes to Martin. Would he? Jack, Jack. I spoke to a lot of people today. They think I've got insider knowledge with the club. I just want to let everyone know. Rusty has said as well. I don't know anyone involved in the transfers. Oh, I do. 
Jack does. I, I saw you fly home in an helicopter with Rasmus a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I did fly Ryan Fraser home a few times, so that's, that's completely valid. Oh, no, I got Henrik on the line. Right, I'm here, rushing out of the stadium. It's St. Joe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. St. Joe, the one and only. The, the one and only. I'm loving that. Joe. How are you feeling after that? It's one nil loss. Disappointing. We, I know, I think we played very well once again, like Newcastle. But at the end of the day, you know, yeah. how life is. But I, think I mean, they're a big physical side, Northern Forest. I mean, I thought very they dirty, did, if I could say. Yeah. yeah. Did, did we deserve a point? Maybe. Maybe we had a couple of chances here and there, but um, yeah. But yeah. the referee was a bit yeah. g- gave a couple of decisions their way. That shouldn't have been, but... On to... Oh, we've got to wait for a go here. On to uh, Brentford away, but be sure to go and give um, Saints Joe a follow over on TikTok, yeah? Please. yeah? thank you. Awesome. Cheers, man. Appreciate it. I didn't think I'd be wearing this <laughs> in August. Right, here we are on our way back. Uh, first episode of Bad Chat from the new Saints fan zone. Um, Jack... You, yes. were, you were a little bit more negative than most of the people I spoke to after that. I should be. Um, <laughs> yeah, were there, were there, I mean, what do you think we're desperately in need of in that? Um, I think we need to not like, actually start somebody in a striker position. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, we are not Man City. We cannot stay in this league without a striker. I think things got a lot better when you had Dibblin and you had Fernandez busted through the middle bit. I thought Archer's oh, hold up play. That, that was that one occasion where he held it up on the halfway like really, really well. Yeah. So I think we just need to start in that kind of attacking sense a bit more. Um, listen, there's, I'm, I'm upset because it was we, we probably could have gotten something out of that game if we had just been a bit on the front foot coming out of the gap at the bat. Yeah. And it took 20 minutes for us to sort of look like anything near being in the game of the first half. Mm-hmm. But at no point did I think, all oh, right, we're dominating this now. We're dominating this, and against a team like Nottingham Forest, granted, this is a much better Nottingham Forest than our side that we played. Yeah, much feel, better. I still feel we need, we need to be doing better, but just people getting used to the league. Like it's hard, it's hard to see Smallbone getting bullied like that in the middle. Mm. Um, I just thought it's just kind of sad seeing the Dharma on the wing days being like he's not making an impact at all, and every time he's on the ball, we get pushed right off of it because. Yeah. their units at the back um, well, we've been here before though haven't we in, in the sense that it's that final third that we've just not been able to make it happen yeah we? you know you don't score goals you don't win games no. and that's the way it always will be and always has been and we just need to find something yeah. I don't know what that is and I wish I had an answer but I don't right. all I can do is look at the thing in front of me and be like there's something missing there like you said today it felt like we had 10 men it did always yeah. felt like they, they were doubled up on us and yeah I think they were doubling up in the middle of the park, that's for sure. But and, and, and the fact that we couldn't stretch that, given the players that we had and, yeah. the, and the style that we were playing and how wide it was, I just thought a lot of the time there was... I, I've, that Premier League has that extra pace. Mm-hmm. And I don't think the boys are up to that extra pace yet. And even when they get on the ball and they get up to that pace, they don't have the strength. Mm. So I think it's just a matter of them bulking up a little bit. I just think there's maybe one or two things that we need to buy. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm, like, we should have gotten Jack Clark, we should have gotten Matt O'Reilly, I don't think that. Because I, th- I think we need somebody on the right wing, to be honest. I think we're, we're loaded with left footers. Yeah, a, d- a dozy for me. Um, I mean, he came on against Newcastle and just I d- doesn't look quite Premier League quality. He doesn't. Me. He looks like he can go out on a loan. And at this point, I'd rather get Sam Ammo, Sam Ammo on that pitch and get him in that position because I feel he'll probably just do a little bit better there again. Yeah. A bit like Dibbin, he's a player that's got something to prove and nothing to fear, so let's just go for it. Liam, yeah. yeah, how are you feeling after that? Apart from hungry? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is, isn't it? It's, we're back in the Premier League and we're back to losing 1-0 every week. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Everyone looked out of position. That's all I will say. Yeah, I know what you mean there. Yeah. It felt like we were down a man. With, yeah, you stick with the same formation you played last season, that 4-3-3, you got down sitting in the middple you're going to break down, down teams more yeah. whereas you've got three at the back you pass it across goal it's not going to do anything how confident are you are with Brentford away next week are you going no oh, yeah. working oh. confident every time we go there we lose 3-0 by the way but I know <laughs> yeah I'm going to go 5-0 win <laughs> you heard it here first uh, Liam said it's going to be 5-0 it's going to be an amazing way day so looking forward to that Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Um, As always, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.